Okay. Solve this question. Okay, how many of you have done this already? Look at the summation of all of them. Okay, great. Great. So, uh, only 18 people have given correct answer over here. So, I would like to discuss this first and then I would like to go ahead with the other question. Now try to understand it is saying that number of uh, a bird shooter was asked how many birds he had in the bag and he is giving one answer. He replied that there were all sparrows but six, all pigeons but six and all ducks but, but six. So uh, how many birds he had in all? So um, what do you mean by all sparrows but six? It means that I am talking about three kinds of birds. So let me write the three kinds of birds. We have sparrows, we have pigeons, and we have um, and we have what ducks. So all sparrows but six means apart from sparrows, the six birds which are left out are pigeons and ducks. So pigeon plus duck is equal to six. All pigeons but six means apart from pigeon there are six birds which are sparrows and duck so sparrow plus duck is equal to six and all ducks but six means apart from duck duck there are uh, apart from ducks there are six birds which are uh, uh, sparrow plus pigeon and that is equal to six when i add all of them this gives me 2s plus 2p plus 2d is equal to 18 and total number of birds would be s plus p plus d so this is nothing but 2 times S plus P plus D is equal to 18. So S plus B plus D which is total number of birds. So this these total number of birds comes out to be 9. So first answer is correct here. Did you all understand it? Okay. Great. Fine. Now let me Show you the leaderboard. Okay, great. See, question number two and three would be question number two and three would be based on same information. Question number two and three would be based on same information. So uh, keep have this thing in your mind. make a column here make a as i was doing make some rows make some columns and then try to answer these questions keep on reading the information and make keep on making some tables some some kind of arrangement this question is based on arrangement 
so in arrangement generally we do best questions best on north facing south facing this question is not based on that but still it is a question of arrangement so i would like to check how many of you have done it only 15 seconds are left uh, left out please have some kind of a row column whatever you can make so that you can arrange people there are five people so at least five different dashes okay the time is over okay okay so most of you have given option b i will solve both question 2 and 3 together so i would like to show you question number 3 and also and then i will discuss the question so can you solve question number 3 here just let me just update this and then i will okay solve question number three also please don't prop prompt the answers in the chat box please don't prompt the answers in the chat box those who couldn't solve why i have kept the same time those who couldn't solve question in the first go i give you an opportunity to do this question again so whatever you have done till now start from there that is why the information has been given um that is why information has been given um, um uh, repeated again i can say I don't want answer of any of these questions in the chat box so please maintain that okay so i hope uh, this much of time actually we have we have you got three minutes to solve this question so at least i i i feel that at least one question should be correct in this so let me check how many of you have done this question okay wonderful so um, out of uh, 47 58 people 38 of you have done it right nearly 60 percent of you 65 percent of you so um let me discuss this question and then i will uh, uh, go to this uh, other question now look at here it, it is saying me that five persons are uh, five men a b c d e read a newspaper the one who reads first gives it to c the one it means that let me mark these five people here one two three four and five now if i look at these five people so the one who reads first gives it to c it means that first person is passing to c it means that the position of c is the second position the one who reads the last has taken from a it means that the person who is reading reading last has taken from a it means that a will come at fourth position now there are only three positions left out which is one three and five and it has been told that e was not the first or last to read so it means that e can't be at first position e can't be at fifth position so e has to come at third position now there were two readers between a and b so there are only two positions where should i place b if i place d here so the uh, i mean how many readers between a and b zero so i can't put b here so b has to go at this position which is position first so b has to be at first position now there is only one place left out and um there is only one person left out which is d 
so i put d out here when i put d out here my arrangement is complete now i go to read the question when i read the question d pass the newspaper to whom so b is first he is passing the newspaper to the second person who is c so here second answer is correct now uh, if i move to uh, the next question which is question number 3 so uh, let me read it so uh, who read oh i'm sorry who uh, read the newspaper last it's the d who read the newspaper last so here option 4 is correct so as we can see here uh, in 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 these questions uh, question number 2 option 2 was correct and question number 3 option 4 is correct this was c second position and this is d uh, the last position so this is what the answer for this question was okay now let me go to leaderboard okay very good who was the fastest pranav j was fastest in this question uh very good now let me give you another question now next three questions would be based on same information next three questions are based on same information so solve this question so in this question actually you will have to make a table where you will have to fit in uh, the persons and then there are several variables the variables that i discussed yesterday you will have to tick few variables wherever it is applicable wherever it is not applicable you you will have to avoid that so make that table rows and column that i was making yesterday and then perhaps you will be able to solve this question uh, quickly please uh, even if you solve it don't put uh, don't give the answers in the chat box so what is important in this case that you make table if you don't make table you will get confused somewhere only a few people can solve without table please don't do that accuracy gets gets hampered over there make tables in this only few few seconds are left out i will solve this question after the three questions on the same 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 uh, logic okay let me check how many of you have got it right okay very good so here again it increased by um out of uh, 57 people 39 so nearly 65% of students have got it right very good let me go to the leaderboard okay momita was fastest very good let me go to this question the question is best on same same um uh, same law lo uh, logic the question is based on same sentences so please try solving it if time was short for you guys then i have made uh, i have written the questions again uh, which is repeated here so you can try those who got it wrong in the first attempt please try to make that um, a uh, table of rows and column where you have different variables ticked so don't uh, try to do without making table there are 15 16 questions 16 questions okay so now uh, only a few seconds are left out please make sure that the table that you have made 
is is full of information right information which has been given here this question is easy you just have to make table and and and, and tick few boxes here and there let me check how many of you have got it right okay wonderful so i have i have i can see a lot of people have uh, uh, improved their performance uh, so so in this question um, uh, the accuracy rate was a good now let me go to leaderboard and check who is fastest out here so ashlisha was fastest here very good so now let's go to um, next question is it's best on the same same logic and after this question i'm going to solve this still i got nearly 14 15 people getting it wrong you have enough time guys uh, for this question i have given four and a half minute times to all of you so that at least one question you can get it right actually in your exam you will not get this much of time to solve this these kind of questions but uh, you will have to solve it in two to three minutes that's more than enough so but because we are doing it here in a quiz format so i have given given more time uh, over here so that you can uh, utilize this time to improve your accuracy so is my screen okay now okay okay only 15 seconds uh time to solve these questions and uh Okay let me check how many of you have got it right Okay again similar number of people uh, I mean I'm getting almost similar number of people getting the questions right which is a a, a trend uh, which I would like to break in between so now let me solve this question six students a b c d e sorry uh, a b c d e f are sitting in a field okay fine so uh, let me read the complete question how i attempt the question i am trying to show you a and b are from nehru house and the rest belong to and the rest of them belong to gandhi house so there are two houses nehru house and gandhi houses and uh, d and f are tall others are short fine and a c d are wearing glasses while others are not wearing glasses okay very good so there are three kinds of information given over here so a b c d or let me just write it another format let me write it here a b c d e f and a and b are from nehru house so i am writing house here and a and b are from nehru house so i am writing n and the others belong to gandhi house so g g g g here then uh, um, height so i am writing tall and short because these are the words used so d and f are tall so i am writing short here others are short so i am writing short here and uh, c and d are wearing glasses so i am writing glasses here so c and d are wearing it so i am writing c and d they are wearing glasses and others are not wearing glasses so i'm just crossing this now there are few questions which has been asked to me so these questions are uh, which of the two students which so a, a is also wearing glasses where acd is okay i i perhaps missed this information just give me here okay a is also wearing glasses okay which two students who are not wearing glasses are short so try to understand people who are not wearing glasses are b e and f out of that f is tall 
So B and E are those people who are not wearing glasses and they are short. So third answer is correct here. Now let me move to um, another question. So in this question, in this question, it has been asked to me that one second, just give me a moment. Let me go a little bit. It has been asked to me that um, which student of Gandhi house is which which short student of Gandhi house is not wearing uh, glasses. So Gandhi house. These are the four people C D E F and out of this people who are short are uh, C and E and out of that E is not wearing glasses. So this is E is the correct answer out here. Now let me go to another question. So what is this? This is nothing but uh, which tall student of Gandhi house is not wearing glasses. So only two, two tall students and F is a tall student from Gandhi house which is not wearing glasses. So answer is fourth answer here. How many of you understood all these questions? All three questions. Okay, great. 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 Fine. Okay. Now let me go to the leaderboard here. Let me check who did it fast. Who got the highest? Aryan single was the fastest, I think. Yes. Very good. Very good. I can see tough comp competition uh, at least in the first six people out here. Very, very good. Okay, now let me uh, show you the next question. Okay, solve this question. There is only one question on this information. There is only one question on this information. Solve this question. In this question, you have to find who is a dancer and dancer and, and violinist both. In this question, you have to find who is a dancer and violinist both. If you have identified the uh, question, then marking answer should be easy. Okay, let me check. C is a correct answer here. Okay, fine. First, let me solve this question. Okay, so it is. In a group of six women, there are four dancers, four vocal uh, musicians, one actress, three violinist. So four vocal musicians are there. Uh, one actress and, and, and three violinist. Uh, Girija and Vanaja are among the violinist. So the violinist are Girija and let me write here. Girija and Vanaja are Violinists Jalaja and Salaja do not know how to play violin. So Jalaja and, and, and Shalja
okay no issues i'm solving just look at it jalja and shalja cannot be violinist still i need four violinists uh, sorry uh, how many violinists three violinists so i have to find uh, three th uh, uh, one more violinist okay now uh, shalja and tanuja are among dancers so shalja plus tanuja are dancers now try to understand how many people i have written girija is one vanaja is second jalja is third shalja is fourth shalja is fourth and uh, tanuja is shalja is fourth tanuja is fifth now shalja and tanuja are dancers i have classified this shalja vanaja jalja vanaja shalja tanuja are all vocal musicians okay so jalja vanaja shalja and tanuja are vocal musicians now try to understand two of them are also violinist you had to find that I, I as i told who is a violinist and dancer both violinist and dancer both this was the question now it doesn't matter aditi uh, it happens now please understand here first look at this question the question is the question is if i have to find out see i have to find out one violinist i have already found out four musicians i have found out what two dancers i have found out uh, um, um, i have found out uh, uh, try to understand uh, if i have to find out a dancer and a violinist so please understand that jalja cannot be violinist puja has not been mentioned so i don't know what puja is and shalja is a dancer but shalja cannot be a violinist so three answers are gone only tanuja is left out so even if you could have looked at this 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 option tanuja can only be a dancer and a violinist why because jalja cannot be a dancer Uh, sorry or, or, or uh, sorry a violinist similarly shalja cannot be a violinist puja there is no information given so there is only one tanuja who can be a dancer and the violinist so dancer is given here shalja and, and tanuja are among dancers here is dancer given here okay so this question the option is c now let's solve next question the next question is here how this question this question is completely clear make tables if you don't make table question will remain unclear
make tables for these kind of questions. Okay, before I give you some kind of answer, something like that, how many of you were able to solve this question? Less time, okay. Whatever information you have collated, whatever information you have collated, please uh, ease down. Whatever information you have collated, let me now go to the question. Only Smriti was able to solve it perhaps out of these people. The next question is based on the same information. Solve it. It's, it's on the board Disha. It's the same question. Is Surya, please focus on solving question. Please make a table. Only 13 seconds. I hope I have given you three minutes now to solve this question. I, I hope I will get a better result in this in this question. Because three minutes is a good enough time to solve these kind of questions. Still there is a lot of people getting it wrong. Uh, okay. Now uh, I'm going to leaderboard. Next question is also based on same type of question. Let me check how many of you have done it right. Okay, fine. Next question is also based on same kind of question. Solve this. Again, you guys started easy, easy. Please let others solve it. Make the table, this question should have and I will not solve this question because I can see there is another question after this and then next to next question is again based on this. So I would like to solve this question after two questions. Uh, how many of you have got it right? Okay, now the, here I am getting a bit of improvement because more time you have taken to solve this question. Let me check how many of you in the leaderboard were able to solve it. Aniket was able to solve it. Um, then Aryan was fastest, I think. Okay, wonderful. Great. Um, okay, now let me go to this question. 
keep the answer intact for this no this, okay this is the uh, uh, okay solve this question this is perhaps this is the last question of this group perhaps let me check let me check this i uh, i mean you solve this May, I hope till now you have made the tables so this question should not take much time because we have already taken four and a half minutes to solve this this question so this question uh, should be like pick and wait for 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 this kind of question because the fourth part of this question so perhaps Okay, maybe, maybe let me check the answer. Okay, 36 people have got it wrong. I don't know why. What's the reason? Sir, the answer is C as in the person C. It's option D, not uh, the option C. Okay, let me check. Wait, all of you. Let me check. Sir, even in the last to last question, I think the same thing happened. Yes, sir. He is a doctor. L let me check. Let me check. That's not a problem. So, if you have got it right, you should be happy. Anyway, this is not an actual NTSA examination. So, if your answer is right, you should be happy with that. Forget about the result and score and all those things. Just look at here. The the quiz is for the sake of purpose. All of you should 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 have two three things in mind. That first, the time given, the time given should be sufficient enough. To solve the question if you are not able to solve this kind of question in three minutes then probably we need to increase the speed i am writing name of five people a b c d e and there is a profession for these people and then there is a sports for these people these are the only variables available in the question is there any other variable available in this question yes no okay so even if one answer has been without because this has been typed if one answer has been typed here and there so it doesn't matter a plays cricket so this guy plays cricket but he is not an engineer so i am writing engineer here and i am crossing this i am just showing you how i attempt these kind of question d is an auditor so if d is an auditor and doesn't play hockey so this guy doesn't play hockey so hockey is gone from here advocate and 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 uh, uh, try to understand um, advocate and doctor are not interested in basketball so advocate plus doctor they don't play basketball so this is gone and also a doesn't play basketball so this is also gone b is an expert golf player so where is B? B is an ex expert golf player and B is not an advocate. This guy is not an advocate. E plays tennis. So let me write tennis here. Let me write with some other color. Just give me a moment. Let me write tennis here. And this guy E, E, what? Oh, who is he? He is a banker. Okay, wonderful. C who doesn't like golf. Um, C all C doesn't play golf and try to understand C is not doctor and advocate. 
so auditor and banker are already gone and c is not doctor and advocate so auditor banker gone doctor and advocate gone so only one profession is left out that is of engineering and c doesn't like golf now try to understand if c doesn't golf is already gone this is this was not needed now uh, there are two prof uh, 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 professions left out so these professions are advocate and doctor so b is not an advocate so b would be doctor and a would be advocate is there any doubt till now is there any doubt till now okay fine if there is no doubt then look at here now it has been given that advocate and doctor doesn't play basketball this is this is given now um, auditor doesn't play hockey so hockey there are only two places left out for hockey so engineer will play hockey and there is only one sports left out which is the sports left out let me just uh, read that what are the sports uh, cricket is done golf is done uh, tennis is done hockey is done is there a sports which i am missing basketball yes so i am missing basketball so this guy plays basketball now this is the complete uh, uh, this thing how many of you solved this question by this method okay so if you solve the question by this method then this is see if you read any book and if you read about efficiency this is how you have to solve the question by making making this kind of table why i am forcing this sometimes i i just uh, tell few method tell about talk about few methods why i talk about few methods because what happens is uh, in few of in these kind of questions where accuracy as well as uh, speed both matters you have to minimize the length of the table so if you start writing advocate doctor engineer auditor banker and then then cricket golf hockey so you will have 10 different columns for five different people and five different roles so identifying data and then no there is no other way if you don't structure the data at one particular point it doesn't take i solved it how much how much time i have taken i started at 843 after explaining also they have taken three minutes after explaining also i have taken three minutes so if you practice it more uh, practice it you can solve this kind of question you will have a set of questions in one and a half to two minutes because if you don't make table it is very it, your structure will not be there the data will fall flat here and there so that is why making table is very very important you you go and and then look at any book there would be tables you 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 follow any particular uh, uh, you follow any particular book any particular here and there whatever you uh, you try to do everywhere there would be table why table because the data can be fit there uh, it can be it can be made structured there in the table so that's why table is important so uh, who is a doctor so b is a doctor now uh, just give me a moment who is a doctor b is a doctor uh, where there will be co consecutive sub questions definitely there would be at least at least one set of question where you you will be given this kind of data and there would be three to four questions like this so uh, b is the doctor here doesn't matter uh, rn uh, b is the doctor here and next question is let me just go through um who is the basketball player so basketball player was d then uh, next question is who is what is the profession of a profession of a is advocate so this is the kind of question I'm not showing you rest of the questions because they are the quiz questions are there. So I've solved these questions. Perhaps you understood this. Now let me go to the next set of questions. So next three, four questions would be best on. Sir, you didn't do the forced uh, problem. Uh, I, I will do that later. Uh, why? Because in between there was a question which is going to come. So I couldn't scroll down. Did you understand? 
Next set of questions are here. Yes. Okay, uh, solve this question. This is based on the same question. Based on the same question. Uh, no. Uh, one second. No, this is not based on the same question. This is a different question. Different question, solve this. make tables if you are not making tables then that would be a great uh, that would be I hope you are done with this question. Doesn't matter. I think there is some problem. Just solve the questions. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I Just, just give me a moment. There is some problem ha happening. Please, please wait. Solve this question. Doesn't matter, Medha, we don't have that much of time. Solve the question and get the right answer. I am giving you the answers. I am giving you the, all the answers, Ananya. When I am making the table, all answers are available. If you want, I can update the sheet in the... Okay, let me check. Okay, fine. This answer is correct. Next question. Perhaps this is the last question, last or second last question.
One more after this, I think. Yes. Okay, next question. Okay, I think this was the last question. Just just do it. Give the answer here. Oh yes, ninety percent will 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 will. Who are these wonderful? Lunch wait. Okay, all of you are done with this. Who are those wonderful? Who are these wonderful five people who who said sat? I'm just happy that I got at least six people, more than ten percent people saying sat. How will you say sat when you are not studying for sat? Till now, the June is ending. Your your history and geography is your history and geography is not. Over. Leave it. One second. Solve this. Is the last question. I hope the answer has been marked correctly. Are you done with this question? Okay. Very good. Yes, this is the last question. We don't have time, Aniket. Leave it. There would be better uh, this thing. I have to discuss the question, and then it will be nine. See, this only one or two question here and there. Anyway, you are leading, so doesn't matter. Okay, so this is the end of the quiz. Very good, Aniket Gupta. I don't have the ID and password, Aniket. That's the problem. So I can't log in and change it. Okay, this question was all about. Let me. 
let me just solve this question. Let me just solve this question. The question was, uh, there are a group of six persons, A, B, C, D, E, and F, they are members of, they are members of some um, cosmopolitan club in South Delhi. Okay. One of these six, uh, out of these six persons, two are musicians, two are tennis player, one is a profession has been given. And, uh, and then marital status has been given. And then male, female has been given, so gender has been given. Okay. A is a pop singer. So A is a pop singer. How many pop singers are there? There is only one pop singer. So A is a pop singer and is married to D who is a musician. So he is married to D and D is musician. So D is married to A then. The magician is married to B. Okay. Who is of the same pro profession as that of F? So B and F are same. And if B and F are same, so there are two tennis players and two musicians. So either there will be tennis player or there would be there would be musicians. Now try to understand. Please understand this uh, statement. A, B, C, D are married couples. So A and D are already married. So B would be married to C and C would be married to D. Uh, F and C are brothers. So if F and C are brothers, so F is male and C is male. And similarly, D and E are sisters. So D and E are sisters. So D is female and E is female. Now, if D is female, then A would be male. And because C is male, then B would be female. So I know gender of all of them. So A would be male, B would be female, C would be male, D and E would be female, and F would be male. Then I have, in the pair of tennis players, only one is male. Now try to understand B and F can play ten tennis player. B and F can be tennis player. Or B and F can be musician. So if I made, if I make B and F, mu uh, no sorry, B and F cannot be musician because D is musician. It has been written somewhere it has been written. Yeah, D is a musician. Now how many musicians I have? I have two, two musicians and B and F have same uh, profession so b would be a tennis player and f would be a tennis player now try to understand there are two professions left out one is musician try to understand one is uh, uh, there is one statement written that the magician is married to b it means that understand here the magician is married to b who is married to b c is married to me so uh, I'm married to B, so this is magician, C would be magician and then there is only one thing left out which is um, E, so E would be what? E would be a tennis player, E would be a musician and they are non-married. So this is, this is the kind of table I'll get here. These type of questions are called analytical reasoning. Very less number of questions are there of analytical reasoning in, in, um, no, uh, it's not syllogism. Syllog syllogism is something else. Okay, how many of you understood the explanation?
okay great great fine so i will uh, update these kind of questions a uh, few more questions from uh, um a book but answers are not there so you will have to find out answer and in case of any particular uh, in case of any particular uh, doubt uh, right uh, um, i mean right back to me so thank you so much for joining and uh, very good aniket um, so there were few uh, this thing uh, here um, problem here so doesn't matter uh, thank you so much for joining see you all uh, sometime else with with uh, better kind of yes fine okay thank you bye bye